All right, Rhode Island's congressional delegation is reacting to the killing of Osama bin Laden. Eyewitness News reporter Stephen Schuler spoke with Congressman James Langevin and Senator Jack Reed just a short time ago. He continues our team coverage now live from North Kingstown with the South County Mobile Newsroom. Politicians across the nation and world are touting bin Laden's death as a major blow to terrorist networks. This morning we caught up with two members of Rhode Island's congressional district uh, delegation who say justice has finally been served. U.S. military officials called him public enemy number one. Now from ground zero to the White House, Americans are celebrating the death of Osama bin Laden. This is a day in which the uh, people of uh, the world, not just the United States, can, can sense justice. This is a major positive development, both a strategic and a psychological victory. Members of Rhode Island's congressional delegation say the special military operation to kill the Al-Qaeda leader closes a chapter on a terrible moment in American history. Particularly, the, particularly those Rhode Islanders uh, who lost loved ones uh, in that, uh, on that day and those terrible attacks and um, uh, I hope this brings them some closure. Local leaders tell us they hope this symbolic victory helps heal the families who lost loved ones on 9-11 or through the war on terror. But I think for a long time they've been waiting for this day where they at least could pause for a moment and see in some respect some small vindication for the, the sacrifices that, that they've suffered and they will continue to suffer. And Senator Sheldon Whitehouse is in Washington, D.C., but in a statement to Eyewitness News, he says, Today I join all Rhode Islanders in thanking the covert and military teams who planned and executed this mission after years of patient stalking. I hope this provides a turning point in the war against terrorism and solace to those who have lost loved ones to this war. For now, live reporting in North Kingstown with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.